the news is not good in the tropics. We're going to be talking about Hurricane Florence all week. And here is the view from space. And it is a, a beautiful storm, very powerful, uh, major hurricane uh, with a landfall later this week, likely in the United States. Right now, a Category 4 storm, a major hurricane. And it looks like it is going to maintain that intensity as it makes its way toward the United States. States by early Thursday morning uh, right now with 140 mile per hour sustained winds potentially becoming a category five storm somewhere along this track but again making landfall right now it would appear as a major hurricane the confidence in its projected path is fairly high. It is being steered by the Bermuda High. That is a semi-permanent area of high pressure uh, that will easily just breeze uh, Florence right on in. Uh, it looks like it will be staying south of Bermuda itself, uh, making landfall somewhere along the mid-Atlantic. And again, that is early Thursday morning as a major hurricane, life-threatening storm surge, unrelenting rain uh, through that region and other major issues uh, we will be covering as the week goes on. On our satellite and radar, uh, we had a few showers in northeast Washington and north Idaho and may have those again tomorrow. We have a cool and unsettled weather pattern. In fact, we're going to be even cooler tomorrow with an upper level trough centered off the coast, but uh, that is going to keep us cool for the next several days. We are going to be seeing our highs about 10 degrees below average until possibly warming up about this time next week. Unsettled, no major storms in terms of precipitation moving through, but we will have some hit and miss showers and the best chance of rain this week is going to be over the higher terrain. Rain. On our national satellite and radar, fairly dry across the eastern two-thirds of the country and right on into the upper Midwest. Some flooding rains over parts of southern Texas. High temperatures are 70 for a high in Spokane, one of the coolest spots on the map, with the exception of New York City, 64 for a high there. It was 107 today in Phoenix, 104 in Las Vegas in the 70s in Seattle and Portland. Here's your seven-day forecast. 60s for the next several days. That looks like we may start to warm up a little bit Sunday and Monday. We're going to be in and out of the clouds this week with a shower here or there. Tomorrow, however, looks like we're going to be dry in Spokane, a high of 65. Keith?